Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexa and this is Alexa's Heels channel. And it's my lifestyle channel and also it's about my 10 inch heels. So the first video will be about how to walk in 10 inch heels. And today I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So stay tuned. So today I have with me my 10 inch pleaser boots. They are ombre boots. I love them. You can see them on some of my pictures on Instagram and also videos. And um, I picked them to teach you how to walk in such high heels because they are the most secure and comfortable. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. So before we will put those extremely high heels, we will need some basic ankle or just, you know, regular socks that you have in your home. And uh, those are just, you know, black ankle socks. And why do you need socks on your feet? Because in those boots or any kind of boots, uh, your feet will be sweaty. So you don't need that, you know, water in your boots and your feet uh, need to be like safe and secure. So that's why we need socks. And now it's time to put the boots on. And here they have a zipper, but also they are laced up from the bottom to the top. So your ankle will be secure. And this is the most important because in those type of shoes, you don't feel the ground, honey, you don't. So in regular shoes, you can probably, you know, stomp on the, like your front, front foot, if I can pronounce it like this, like, you know, on your toes or something, and you can feel the ground like below you. And here you can't feel anything. So the ground is far away. So now we are going to put those boots and I have already my socks on. Maybe I'm gonna show you how I put them. So I'm gonna put the first shoe and zip here. And also the second one, the right one. Don't mind me sitting weirdly, but you know, I'm like an acrobat wearing those shoes but okay we are going to put another shoe like this and zip it and i've already uh, laced up my boots before uh, so they are super tight and actually they, this is the most important thing uh, for your ankles so keep your boots tight and all secure. I have already my boots on and before we will stand up, I need to tell you something very important. So when walking on 10 inch heels, you need to do something special with your feet and your toes to keep the shoe secure and to actually have the balance in them. So listen to me carefully. Uh, if you are afraid, of walking in 10 inch heels and this is your first time you may need a wall maybe or someone to help you but let's say you are alone so you will need a wall probably to just keep your hands on and then you like your brain is telling you that you are secure so in case you will fall there is something you can you know <clears throat> or maybe you can uh, keep your hand on the like on the furniture like anything you uh, you have in your house and those shoes are made for pole dance so they are not made for walking and you have to keep that also in mind and when you buy 10 inch pleasers they have this warning label that they are made for photo shoots and pictures something like that so uh, the most safe position for you know 10 inch heels is like sitting or laying on the you know on the couch or whatever so you don't walk in them. They are not made for walking. Okay, so now uh, we are going to stand up. 
But first, <clears throat> you need to keep your toes scrunched. So this is the most important thing when walking in 10 inch heels. I can show you now how my toes look like. Maybe in the next video I'm gonna wear something like different, like different 10 inch heels and show you how my toes are. But uh, my feet, my foot actually, like for example, my foot is not like this, like flat in those heel. It's my toes are scrunched and they are like uh, keeping the like the platform like close to my close to my toes and like I'm actually hanging the shoe like you know metaphor it's a metaphor but you can imagine I'm hanging the shoe with my toes so I scrunch my toes and all the time when I walk in ten inch heels I have my toes scrunched a little bit. So the feet is not relaxed. No, 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 we don't want that. And it's like, you know, tight and toes are scrunched. So uh, scrunch your toes first. Okay, so my toes are like this in the shoe. And now when you are sitting on a chair, first you need to, you know, put your uh, like platforms on the ground. Like they are not like this or this. Okay, so you are safe. And you keep the chair okay or something else and you stand up And also remember when uh, wearing heels like that you need to imagine that your foot is actually like stuck in the shoe so it's not loose or bouncing everywhere it needs to be it needs to be like stable and secure here and when you scrunch your toes your ankle is automatically like blocked you know what I mean because when your foot is like you know your toes are like this that's not gonna work when they are scrunched automatically the ankle is secure and it's not moving anywhere so like scrunch your toes and try to walk also when we are walking in such high heels we place our feet not like you know the heel and the platform the heel and the platform no this move you can do with regular heels those are different and you place them like they just slightly heel and the platform but mainly focus on the platform and your scrunch toes so they are like your foot is stuck in the shoe so you go like you know like in the like in stilts you know what i mean we are walking like in stilts so we don't move like our toes or ankles or anything everything is like tight and stable <laughs> I hope you will find this video helpful and next time I'm gonna record uh, maybe outside or you know in a different place or I'm gonna figure out something with the camera setting so you can see my whole body that would be maybe even better but for now remember like the golden rule of wearing 10 inch heels 
is to scrunch your toes and keep your foot tight and safe, secure, so it's not loose. Tight, scrunched, that's the most important. And also, if you like those kind of videos, let me know in the comments. And if you want to check my other channel, do it. It's more, it's different. But anyways, have a nice week, have a nice day, and see you in the next one. And remember to follow my Instagram. Bye-bye.